Hey, we tag Randy here. I thought I'd get on here and share that Lucy has been feeling a little bit under the weather. She started with some um, diarrhea one day last week. And so I made her some chicken and rice, fed her that for two days. I don't know if it's something that she's getting into. I don't know if it's something that I'm feeding her because I've been giving her the little Caesar, just using them as a topper. She got used to getting these with, because this is what Ricky ate. So we would give her like a half of a little tin, just cut it up and use it as a topper for her food. Um, she has something right now. I gotta go see what she's got. She's got an ink pen. Oh, great. Come on, I'll give you something. Come on, I'll give you something. She can't have an ink pen. She's gonna get ink all over my floor and all over her, all over. She's gonna eat the ink. Come on, I'll give you something. Come on, come on, come on, come on up. Come on up. She makes me chase her around the table and uh, I can never catch her. <laughs> so I gotta give her something. Anyway, anyway, I gave her the chicken and the rice for a couple days. Here she comes, she's right behind me. She knows I'm gonna give her something. And uh, I don't know if it cleared it up. It might've cleared it up just, just a little bit. But anyway, she's got it back again. And then last night, in the middle of the night, she was throwing up. And it's just like a yellow vial. Before she started with the throwing up, she had the diarrhea. So I decided that I was gonna try making her some uh, homemade food to use uh, as a topper or with her kibble. I went to the grocery store after work and I bought three pounds of ground turkey. I got about three cups of um, white rice, and it's just minute rice that's cooking in there. And then in the microwave, we got some carrots. I'm gonna mix all that together, and I'm going to divide it into just cupfuls and uh, freeze it. And I'm going to use this as a topper for her food to see if she doesn't tolerate this better. I figure it's got to be better. For one, it's got to be cheaper than what I'm paying for the Caesar food. Last time I ordered Caesar food and some uh, treats and um, some shampoo, it cost me like 50 bucks. Last night, I got all this stuff for, uh, and some barbecue chips <laughs> for like $15. So um, the ground turkey was only $8.99. $8.99, that don't even sound right. Yeah, it was $8.99 for three pounds of ground turkey at Kroger's. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to give mix this all up. I'm not gonna feed her. She's already looking for food. But um, actually, I was gonna do a 12 hour fast, but I think between last night's dinner and today, it's already been 12 hours. So um, as soon as this is done, I guess, I'm gonna give her some with her kibble. And I usually give her about three scoops of kibble. Uh, she she doesn't usually eat it all. Aha, here it is. Nice fat pen she had. I hope everybody's having a good morning. I got up kind of late because I was up with her. We were up from like four in the morning to like seven. And then I went to bed at seven and woke up about 10. So my morning has been kind of broken up. All right, I'll get back to you on how she, um, how she does with that. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's a very bland diet. And uh, I read some recipes last night and they said um, any kind of lean meat, uh, ground beef, chicken, or turkey, and I had already tried chicken, and I've tried chicken in the past, so I thought I would try something different. It's a process of elimination. I um, think that Lucy cannot tolerate beef. It just seems to me like whenever I had given it to her in the past, she would have diarrhea. So I am going to start with turkey and see how she does with that, and then go from there. And uh, I also read no um, seasoning so there's 
none of that, nothing. Just ground turkey, and this is three pounds of ground turkey, three cups of minnet rice, and a bag of frozen carrots. I'm going to mix a cup of it with her kibble. I already have the kibble right here. It's uh, three scoops of kibble. <laughs> I'm videotaping her, she's eating it now. She's spitting out the carrots. I bet you it's the carrots that she don't like. She likes carrots when they're when they're cold. I seem to recall giving her little slivers and her eating it. We need to take that shampoo upstairs so I can hit those couple spots. She's eating it. I figured I would do the process of elimination thing, you know, and start with a ground turkey. And if she can tolerate that, we'll stick with that until she gets tired of it because she is a picky eater. And then after that, we'll go to, I'll try the ground beef because it says try ground beef too. And then see if she can tolerate that. And then just go from there. Well, it's actually probably cheaper than Yes, it is cheaper. I've got three pounds of ground turkey for $8.99. She's eating it, so let's see how she tolerates it. Well, I'm pretty sure that she eat all the food. <laughs> good girl, Lucy. Lucy, good girl, Lucy. She even ate that carrot that she had spit out. Originally, good girl, Lucy. That just means that tonight, she'll be good and hungry when it's time to give her more food. Lucy, you want more food? Huh? You can't be a piggy now. You cannot be a little pig. You have to wait till the next meal. Twice a day is all we feed her. Need to clear that. She does not like that stuff on, on her uh, kennel. That's a box that came UPS and she's a box inspector. So she's checking it out. If I give it to her twice a day, that means I've got a week's worth of food here. There's one, two, three, four, five, and still some in here. I've got a whole week's worth of food in there for you, Lucy. That's a good deal.